No, no, no. They were so close. This had so much potential. Someone wrote a great comedy script, and then on the way to the studio, they tripped and it fell into a bottle of semi-crusted cow diarrhoea. A good core concept laced with one or two cancerous ideas. Like an intelligent writing team had just put the finishing touches to their comedy script and gave it to their script editor, a brain-damaged molester, who took one look at it and asked why there was no will-they-won't-they relationship. The writers say, because it's played out and gets in the way of the comedy, to which the script editor makes some implied threats about their wives and children, and there we go. He then notices that the main character is a sweet, innocent, almost childlike person, and then suggests they should turn the dial up, making this character so sweet she's hard to watch sometimes. He then recites the addresses of each of the writers, and suddenly he gets his way again. My anger is because I like this show. It's probably the funniest refugee from America to be adopted by Creepy Uncle E4, which is of course like saying that Birch is the sexiest of all the trees. But it really is. The show is funny, I mean. But these problems are so apparent that I'm almost embarrassed to admit to liking it. The characters are somewhat more interesting than the usual sitcom slop, particularly Discount Dennis Reynolds and the angry curmudgeonly male lead. I wonder why I like him so much. I even like some of the moments with Zoo... Z- zoo, zoo, zooey, wa- I even like some of the moments with Ian Dachan. D- Dachan. Fuck it. I even like some of the moments with Ian Girl. The touches of cynicism keep the show reined in, but when it isn't being cynical, it's just so sickly sweet that you risk diabetes just by watching it. Maybe I'd enjoy it much more if I wasn't such a grumpy twat. But the fact is, I am. A girl moves in with three socially awkward men after her boyfriend cheats on her. This girl is extremely quirky. God, I fucking hate that word. But there is no other word to describe her. Her personality slowly changes the three men until they stop being awkward, angry and creepy, respectively. Oh, and the male lead and the female lead hint at having a relationship for the early part of the show, and then do, to the surprise of literally no one. Whilst this relationship and the oversweet content are two massive off-putting factors for me, the show is still constructed with some good ideas. The characters are somewhat well-rounded, and it is funny most of the time. It absolutely doesn't bring anything new to the table, but it works well with the things I would consider clichés. The characters work well together and seem to have good... chemistry. Another word I can't stand. So this show isn't bad. It has bad ideas, but the good ideas tip back the scale and make the show fine. But this particular show is still to me a guilty pleasure, and one that I'm not overly keen on admitting.